Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and advice on how to improve your aim in Apex. I've done these types of videos before with different games and they've been received very well, so hopefully you learn a thing or two with, with the Apex one and you start winning some games, getting some more kills and having some more fun with the game. But first, I need to quickly say that I play with a custom controller. It is a Battle Beaver controller. It is similar with a Scuff. More people know the name Scuff. It's similar to a Scuff, but rather than paddles on the back, it's got buttons. So I play with a Battle Beaver controller, so my X and my circle are bound to the back of my controller so I can jump and crouch while keeping my thumb on the stick. Everything I'm going to say still applies to you, but I feel like I need to add that. Also, I've been playing shooters my entire life. So a lot of these things have translated from game to game to game to game to game. So I've got a lot of practice and time in. So a lot of these things that I'm going to mention in here, you're not going to really get right off rip. You're going to have to put the time in. You're going to have to practice. Some people are naturally better at it than others and will learn way faster. But time is literally everything. So with that said, let's get into the tips. So first and foremost, and probably the most important, is that this game has predictable recoil. Every gun has unique recoil, but you can control the recoil on every weapon. So this is the R301, for example. Me just shooting R2, not touching the right stick, you can see the recoil pattern that I have. Now if I control it by touching down on the right stick just a tiny little bit as I shoot, I can predict that recoil, I can control it. So you can see how the bullet pattern is way more tight right there, right? When I'm controlling it, rather than on the left when I'm just holding R2 and shooting at an enemy. So I'm going to do it one more time. All you need to do is just ho hold down just a tiny little bit. Now it sounds really simple, but it's actually really difficult and it's hard to get used to. If you want to learn how to do this really well, I do suggest going into the training arena and just practicing with the R301 because the R301 has the least amount of recoil, as far as I can tell, out of any full auto AR in this game. So if you want to practice and get used to it, use the R301. But now I'm going to show you the R99, and as you can see, the R99 has a lot of recoil. If any of you guys have used the R99, you can you know what I'm talking about. It's got a lot of recoil. So on the left, that's just me holding R2, and then on the right, right there, what I just did, this is me controlling it. It's basically a laser beam. Now what I'm doing is, one more time, I'm just holding down on my right stick just a tiny little bit. That's all that I'm doing, and I'm able to control that recoil. It's predictable. It's very important. It's predictable so you can learn how to control it. Now, let me show you a way that you can practice this. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the R99 once again, got a lot of recoil, and I'm picking a little spot in the rocks, okay? You see that little circle? There's like an indent into the rock. I'm shooting on the right just to show you that there's no mods or anything like that because I saw comments about people <laughs> saying that I use mods or something. I'm shooting my bullets into the little crevice, the little hole in the wall, and I'm trying to keep all my bullets inside that hole. Now you can do this over and over and over. Just find another little spot, back up, and try to keep all of your shots inside that little hole. It's, trust me, it sounds very simple, but this is actually really difficult to get used to because when you hold down, when you're trying to correct your aim, you're trying to control the recoil, Sometimes you're going to aim too too much. You're going to go down too much and it's going to mess everything up. Or you're going to go, you're not going to do it enough. Or you're going to start moving left to right. Everything is going to start messing up. So you can go into the training arena. Just aim for these little crevices in the wall. These tiny little circles. And try to keep all of your bullets inside those holes. So one more time, I'm just going to shoot. No, no correction right there. Just to show you guys that I'm not using mods or anything like that. Like I said, I, in, my, in a few other previous videos... There were some comments of people being like, yo, you're totally using a strike pack or a Cronus or something. I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> uh, no, just holding down on the D-pad or on the right stick a little bit, bud. So that's a way that you can practice it, okay? That's the way you can practice it. Down a little bit on your right stick. Now, I'm going to show you real quick. This is a chart of all the recoil patterns in the game. Now, you don't need to memorize this. Just by playing the game, you're going to get used to it. Whenever I pick up a certain gun, I, I have it memorized. Like, I play the game a lot. So I know what the recoil pattern should feel like on each weapon. And I, I just accommodate for whatever weapon that I'm using. And soon, after you put in the time and you practice a lot, you're going to get used to it as well. And you'll be able to do the exact same thing. So that's great and all. That's how you control the recoil patterns. But lots of weapons, you don't have to really worry about that. I'm talking about the wingman. I'm talking about the longbow. I'm talking about the peacekeeper. Guns that have, you shoot once, you shoot again, you shoot again, right? You don't, you don't have to control the recoil on it. So for those weapons, there's a special little technique that I used to do when I'm sniping. I used to do this in Call of Duty. I would do this in uh, Overwatch, whatever it is. It's centering. Centering is the single most important thing when you're using these types of weapons. Now, again, this is going to sound really weird. For those of you that have watched the, my previous guide videos about this aiming stuff, you, you'll understand it if you're new. Like I said, it's going to sound weird, but bear with me. 
when I'm aiming with these types of weapons, I'm not focusing on my crosshair and trying to bring my crosshair to the enemy. I'm trying to bring my enemy to my crosshair. I know it sounds weird and it sounds backwards, but bear with me. So when you're aiming with these types of weapons, you're bound to be less accurate. It's just it's just a fact. We're all playing on console. No matter how good you are, it's you you're you're aiming with a joystick. Even myself, you know, like I'm missing shots as well. It's this is how it is. So the way that I do it is I focus on bringing my enemy to the center before I even aim in. So this clip, for example, right here, I scope in only when the enemy is centered. That's the only time that I do it. Now, again, it's subjective because sometimes, like in this clip, I'm sitting there trying to aim on the guy, right? Now, you can tell that I'm aiming with my crosshair. I'm not doing the centering thing. Now, watch after I kill this guy right here. This is the centering coming in right here. So I jump up, I see where he is, I just get him center, it's like I'm not aiming with the crosshair. I'm just getting the enemy center and then I'm shooting. I, I, it's hard to explain, I know it sounds kind of silly, but you can see right there, it's the same thing. I'm not aiming with my crosshair, I'm, I'm bringing the enemy center and then I'm shooting. So I'm going to go into the training arena, I'll give you, I'll give you a good example. So obviously this is going to be a very simple version of what I'm trying to explain, but picture this moving target as an enemy in the middle of a game, okay? Now what I'm doing here is I'm sitting here and I'm tracking the enemy and you're relying on your aim as a console player and you're going to be less accurate. It's just, it, like I said, it's a fact you're playing with a joystick, you're going to be less accurate. So what I do is rather than aiming, I put my crosshair center and I wait for the target to go center of my screen and then I shoot. So rather than aiming with your right stick, you're letting the enemy move center. Now. Of course, it's going to be a lot more difficult to do in the middle of a game because enemies are going to be unpredictable. You're, they're going to be moving around in different ways. But if you're able to incorporate this into aiming, of course, it's going to be a mixture of both. When you're, you know, when it's all said and done, it's going to be a mixture of both. But if you can get used to letting your target go center rather than trying to aim, incorporate the both together, you're going to see way better results. Way better results. Same thing applies to the longbow. Same exact thing. Rather than aiming. And tracking the enemy I'm sitting there and I'm trying to wait for the enemy to go center and then I'm shooting exact same thing don't mind the weird little flicky thing that I do I don't know why I do that in every game that I play when I'm sniping this is something I do when I'm sniping okay <laughs> I like I like doing that when I'm sniping it, it, it just looks really flashier I don't know maybe it's just like a subliminal thing in my head for some reason I flick it around like that you, you don't need to do that it's just kind of something I do for some reason but point is you want to wait for your target to go to your crosshair okay now once again I need to say this this is not gonna work in every single situation everything is gonna be different but if you're able to get used to it and if you can incorporate that technique into your normal aiming techniques and do like a good mixture of both then you're gonna be able to do way more way more you're gonna be much more accurate you're gonna get way more kills everything is gonna be better to wrap things up, I want to touch on sensitivity because sensitivity is very, very important. I get asked a lot on stream. I get asked all over the place in the comments. My sensitivity is 6'6", but my sensitivity is something that I'm comfortable with. It's something that I've played with. You know, I, I've always played on a really high sensitivity in every game that I've played, a lot higher than most. If you find yourself missing shots, you are not consistent. You are not doing as well as you think you should be. Turn your sensitivity down. There's no shame in playing on a low sensitivity. I encourage it. As a matter of fact, I encourage playing on a lower sensitivity. The lower your sensitivity is, the more consistent you're going to be, right? And again, it's you got to be comfortable with playing on a higher sensitivity. It's not for everybody. And if you want to start turning it up, I recommend turning it up in small increments. Just one, you know, one notch at a time, slowly turning it up. And as you get used to it, then you can start playing, you know, more and more and more. But that, again... That's only for some people, you know, some people are used to a high sensitivity. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Just find something that is comfortable for you, but I encourage you to stay on a lower sensitivity and start working your way up, okay? So with all that said, it's, it's really hard to give like a specific guide and just tell you, you know, here's all the magic secrets. It all comes down to practice. You can take these, these tips that I gave you in this video, you know, practice with it, learn, play the game, have, have fun. Have fun playing the game. And the more you play and the, the more you time you put into the game, the better you're going to be. That's just, that's just a fact. That's just what's going to happen. So it all boils down to time. It all boils down to practice. Everything is situational, especially in a battle royale. 
But if you incorporate the little techniques that I gave you in this video, you're going to find yourself being a much better player. You're going to be way more consistent. You're going to do way more damage. You're just going to be, you're going to be better. You're going to slowly grow. You're going to get better at the game. Everything's going to be good. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you did learn something. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any tips of your own. If you, you know, little things that you, you do yourself, you know, let me know. I'm actually curious. So anyways, guys, thank you once more. And I will see you guys on the next video.